Once again in Elgin, that's where three more earthquakes were reported today. The first happened just after midnight, the other around 530 in the morning, and the third was just past 10 o'clock this morning. Those quakes were considerably smaller than the one that shook our studios during our live broadcast last night at this time. The strongest this morning was a magnitude 2.3. They all fell in the same area between I-20 and Fort Jackson Road, where more than 40 earthquakes have been reported now since December. It's the latest surge in what experts are calling an earthquake swarm. What geologists believe could be the longest period of successive earthquake activity in our state's history. Meanwhile, DHEC taking to social media to answer questions about the recent quakes. They were asked if mining operations in the Lugoff Elgin area could be causing all of this. Well, the short answer is no. The agency says mines in the area are surface pits, with the majority of those measuring 30 feet or less in depth. They say that the shallowness of these mining pits would not be expected to contribute to seismic activity. And the agency says that the deepest mine in the area is 900 feet. It is uh, located approximately 75 miles away from the Lugoff Elgin area. And the State Emergency Management Agency also weighing in on the earthquake activity. News 19 Zoe Henry spoke with the expert there today about what's happening in the Midlands. It was like a Big Mac coming through, like a big truck. You know, that's what it felt like in the beginning. Angie Catano owns a business just a few hundred feet from the epicenter of Wednesday's record-breaking earthquakes. She says she felt every shake. It was like a Big Mac coming through, like a big truck. You know, that's what it felt like in the beginning. On Wednesday, the U.S. Geological Survey recorded seven earthquakes in the Midlands. Two of them broke records for earthquake intensity at 3.4 and 3.6 on the Richter scale. Right now I'm standing at the epicenter for one of the earthquakes from yesterday. The second epicenter is 400 feet down the road. There are no cracks here or down the road because they're all super far deep in the Earth's core. Scott White with the University of South Carolina says cracks in the Earth are readjusting, causing these earthquakes. And that's a pre-existing line of weakness. So when stress builds up in the Earth, you have a pre-existing crack, that crack is probably going to reactivate. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. This stress comes from movement between tectonic plates. To put it simply, the Earth's surface is made of plates that are constantly shifting, and places like South Carolina that sit in the middle of plates feel stress caused by those shifts. Scott also says while these earthquakes have seemed frequent, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll get worse. One of the big questions that I often get is, are these earthquakes getting stronger with time? And the answer to that is not really. <laughs> he also says no one can predict earthquakes. In Elgin, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. And as those earthquakes continue to shake up the Midlands, local insurance experts say it might not be a bad time to ask about earthquake insurance for your home. The State Department of Insurance says looking into earthquake insurance now could help save you a lot of money down the road. Whenever you compare whatever the insurance premium would be to the cost to rebuild your home or um, repair your foundation, it would be minimal. So it's definitely a good idea to take a look at and see if it's a good option for you. And he adds that if you're considering getting earthquake insurance on your home, you should contact your insurance provider or agent to see if it is the right decision for you. Last